High Priestess Plastano, why did you call the army here today? Lieutenant, we're making an attack over the river. We're gonna go crush those greens. If we don't do it now, we may never be able to make progress again. Has... has the king given his okay to this, sir? The king doesn't need to know. I'm in charge now. But sir, that's treason. No, it's treason to not follow the path of Inu. Ready the men, trooper. We're going over that river, whether the king likes it or not. Meanwhile, the green leader was on the same river, speaking with his troopers. Prime Minister Creed, the men are ready. What do you wish we do? Attack, soldier. I thought that was obvious. Today, we're going over that river and we're taking out the oranges once and for all. They've been threatening our back lines for the past month or so and we cannot stand it anymore. Not while we have the tans on our front. Very well, sir. I'll inform the men to charge at once. What's up, guys? It's me, Daily Tactics, here back with the... Army Men Civil War series. I know you guys have been waiting very patiently for this series to come out. Uh, we took a little bit of a break there because I was focusing on Rico's Brigade and finally I was feeling ex inspired to do another episode so I wanted to thank you guys for being patient. I know there are a lot of big fans of this series on this channel. Either way, today we have an awesome battle. I'm really excited about this one uh, because we've got the Orange Crusaders back who Personally, I think are the most interesting faction at this point in time in the series. I think they're so cool. So uh, here's the Crusader army, and uh, they are currently on the territory of the Green Army. This is sort of the uh, barrier between the two armies, and they both set up huge defensive positions on uh, this river. And they've just sort of been a stalemate here for a while. But simultaneously, at the same time, both sides chose to launch an attack on the other side. Uh, so the Greens, of course, having their advantage being manpower are sending tons and tons of infantry troopers forward as well as some M24 chaffies and uh, some Sherman tanks as well. And then of course they have their defenses uh, set up as well uh, on this territory. And uh, the Oranges, with their modern weapon advantage, are sending forward less troopers, uh, but with more modern weapons. And then they've also got some uh, tanks themselves too. And then of course they have their defensive positions here as well. Uh, it's gonna be really cool because we're gonna both have uh, both sides defending and both sides attacking at the same time uh, with sort of the middle of the battle going on on the uh, river there. So it'll be really, really cool. So if you guys enjoy this series and you want to see more, be sure to hit that like button. Let's try and get 800 likes in the first 24 hours. Subscribe if you haven't already. Big giveaway at 200k subs. Uh, and comment down below what you think should happen next, what you thought of the video, all that good stuff. I'm reading comments, boys. And without further ado, let's get it going. Hey guys, real quick before this video begins, I want to give a huge shout out to Mighty Mapper123. Uh, he's a good YouTube friend of mine and he is overhauling his channel. He's making a ton of new content and uh, just reinvigorating it because uh, he took a bit of a break there and he's coming back really, really strong. I've been watching his content for a long time now and some of his latest videos have been some of the best I've ever seen from him. They're really entertaining uh, and so I wanted to support him in this time of overhaul uh, because he was there for me when I redid everything from daily gaming to daily tactics. So I highly recommend you go over to Mighty Mapper 123s channel and subscribe to him, watch some videos, uh, support my boy. If you like the Army Men Civil War series, you'll definitely like his videos because he does a lot of the similar stuff, um, sometimes even with cooler mods and things like that, so highly recommend you check him out. Thank you guys uh, for listening to this and maybe going and checking my friend out, and uh, please enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty then, lads, since this is a very close range battle, let's go in slow-mo for the majority of it, and we're pressing start right now, and uh, yeah, fire basically starts in instantly uh, from both trench sides here. Already, green soldiers are going down. I imagine a number of orange soldiers are also going down right now. It it's just gonna be chaos this entire battle, I have a feeling. Right now, it seems like only small arms fire is coming in, uh, but eventually, these, uh, you know, flat guns and howitzers and tanks will start kicking in as well and we will see a lot 
more going on. Yep, now we're starting to see some explosions on the battlefield. Pretty epic. The greens have a couple of howitzers up here, and then the oranges have a uh, flat gun on the opposite hill, which is pretty sick. The infantry is charging on forward here in the midst of a lot of incoming fire. It is a dangerous battlefield to be on, that is for sure. A couple of tanks getting hit already. Ooh, this one already like destroyed wow well it doesn't look completely destroyed but the uh, the crew had to get out there so clearly it took a hit that made it inoperable anymore which is tough it's tough to lose your tank so early on in the battle there that's going to be a major blow to the green forces um orange tanks all seem to be doing okay they're sort of rolling on forward here BEA beautiful orange defense is also still holding strong the flat gun still alive this is probably the most dangerous weapon in the orange arsenal currently so if they can keep this thing alive for as long as possible they'll be in business baby they will definitely be in business howitzers of the greens launching some shells right now BEA beautiful the greens also have a few of these 50 cals lined up so we can see they're firing away Ooh, nice little shot there from the Sherman whoo whoo baby Oh, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous, lads. We got some snipers up here for the greens firing down the hill below. Ooh, a little um, glancing blow to the Sherman. Doesn't look like it took it out, which is good. Sometimes those angled shots just don't have the uh, power to actually... KO a tank, which is good for the greens, I suppose. Uh, most of the green trenches are getting sort of filtered out. There's not a lot of troopers left alive in them. Well, this side's doing actually very well. All of their troopers are left alive, and they still have a 50 cal alive over there. Let's check on the oranges. Um, this little trench line is down. There's still some troopers up there, some free roaming troopers up here. Some tanks are moving over to the left side. Two tanks, in fact, to try and combat this side that's holding so well for the greens. Uh, their middle trenches seem to be doing okay. Okay, there goes one of the orange tanks right there bursting into flames We got another one over here who seems to be coming pretty far forward to the shoreline Trying to combat some of these green tanks on the opposite end both sides seem to be doing pretty well I mean, you know, they both have their advantages and disadvantages in this battle But you know, it, it makes for a pretty even battle when both of them have them going for them So that's kind of good to see Ooh, big hit right there on the uh, I think this is a comet tank or is it a Crusader? It's a British tank. I think it's Comet. I think it's a Comet. Uh, it took a pretty big uh, blow to the turret there. It doesn't look like it's down. The crew might just be concussed. Oh! Clapping back against the Sherman here. Blowing it sky high. Wait, it should do a big boomer explosion pretty soon here. Hold up. Usually it does. Let's go into normal speed now. So we can see the pure chaos of this battle. Okay, maybe it's not going to be a, a big boomer explosion. Sometimes they do when it when it gets going like that, which is BEA beautiful. Ooh, M24 Chaffee crossing into the other side of the river there. That's pretty epic. Uh, so this is the first of either side to fully cross the river. Ooh, this flamer could take him on and, and give him a good bursting. He's not going to do it, though. I think he knows that his allies are on the opposite side, so he could end up burning them, too. Uh, it does get taken down. looks like from some sort of a bazooka shot. Maybe this guy here or something along those lines. Uh, most of the attackers are getting mowed down here from both sides, so we're not seeing too many uh, of them trying to cross the river or anything like that anymore. Most are just sort of chilling in their trenches and whatnot, trying to wait out this massive explosive battle that's going on. Um, is the flat gun still alive for the oranges? Yeah, this entire hillside is still alive for the oranges. And uh, the hillside for the greens also looking very, very prime. These are probably the two most powerful positions uh, for both sides. So whoever takes out these positions for each side... Um almost guarantees the victory in the battle because this is where their heavy guns are set up and a lot of infantry with some pretty good high up positions there but i don't think they can hit each other oh maybe they can hold up hold up this thing might just absolutely blast these guys oh it might be reloading right now that'd be kind of sick if we got to see this shot i think is it out of range oh there she blows i don't even know where that hit to be honest oh maybe over here where this smoke is I'm not fully sure. I'm not fully sure, but it can be confirmed that the flat gun can hit this uh, hillside over here. Not sure if the howitzers can hit that enemy hillside. The flat gun, of course, is more powerful than these howitzers. Um, however, there are two howitzers versus one flat gun, so it sort of evens those odds a little bit. Um, 
Yeah, this is such a cool battle. It is certainly dying out in terms of just the constant fire that we saw in the beginning of the battle, but it's still raging pretty hard, man. I do have a very special thing uh, coming up for the Army Men uh, mod. It's gonna be pretty sick. It's something I've been working on uh, with Ultra, who is a Men of War skin mod creator. So uh, get excited for that. It should be coming out probably next week. I won't, I won't spoil the surprise, but, but I think you guys are gonna like it. It's a little crossover. Uh, between two things so I'm, I'm pretty excited for that baby oh yeah um, yeah so the I mean the fighting has just died down we can look at the mini map right now blue are the greens left alive oranges oranges are in red on the mini map at the top left there um, I'd honestly say they're pretty even neither side has any tanks left alive um, you know the oranges still have their flat gun and the blues still have their howitzers and the howitzers pounding this trench line pretty hard right there um, neither side really pushing too hard or anything like that I mean a lot of them are still in defensive positions this could very well be a draw in the battle if we're being completely honest that that could happen it, it could just end up being a draw which would be a little bit disappointing but you know, it happens, man. Oh, we got a sniper out here on the hillside who was uh, getting shot at by a machine gun. He still is, but he's getting some uh, fire out himself, and the machine gun is really, really inaccurate. But he does end up getting killed. He does get killed there. All right, well, all quiet on the plastic front. <laughs> oh, what a, what a, what a pun. What a pu oh, I hate myself. <laughs> um, there's uh, a little bit of firing. Oh, look, this guy's dipping his toes in the water here. Look at you go, man. Look at you go. He's getting out there. I'm impressed. He's also getting some fire out. He's probably going to die pretty soon, but, like, good on you, brother. Actually, actually taking big steps forward. This might be the farthest an infantryman's made it from either side, if we're being completely honest. We look on at your career. With great interest, sir. We look on at great interest. Yeah, I mean, there's just, like, some fire going on from machine gunners and stuff like that. But, like, not really a whole awful lot is happening. I don't know. Do we call it a draw? Or, you know, do we let them keep doing this little bit of firing? That guy ended up dying. Both sides have basically even numbers, if we're <laughs> being completely honest here. Hmm. This, uh, this green guy's getting fired at from the uh, defenses. There's not that many free-roaming troopers left for either side as well. Most of them are in the, uh, the defensive category now, which makes sense because the most people who would stay alive would be the people who aren't charging forward. Huh. Oh, here comes, here comes a fella. Hello, guys. I, I think we should call it a draw, which is kind of a rarity to have in Men of War, but... Both sides are pretty darn equal, and, you know, neither side would realistically give up their positions to charge right now. Um, so maybe next week we'll return to this same battlefield with uh, renewed vigor. Maybe, uh, maybe I change the battlefield a little bit. Maybe we could mine it. Maybe we could add more defensive positions and more attackers and things like that. Make it bigger and better and... Uh, larger so that way we do have a definitive winner or loser but i think at the moment it is going to be a draw here uh so comment down below what you think um and uh wh what you think about the idea of me sometimes drawing battles because i don't think it's fair to declare a winner here when both sides still have solid defenses left alive you know i don't know what, what are your thoughts on this i we we rarely come to this territory in in these series so let me know what you think either way guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed be sure to comment down below if you did subscribe if you haven't already and like the video all right peace i hope you guys enjoyed that video be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever i live stream or upload thanks so much